Welcome back. A pleasant afternoon we've had today. Temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s out there. A little warmer in Pineville at 58 right now. We're going to be seeing things changing as we get into the end of this week. Right now we're dry, but things begin to change. Lots of weather alerts out there. We're seeing winter alerts, winter weather advisories just to our northeast. Then for our entire viewing area, we're seeing wind advisories out there and up toward Ohio. We're seeing flood watches. So we do have the potential for some severe weather coming up as we go into tomorrow evening. There's that system to our southeast already brewing down there and heading our direction. And that's going to continue to head into our direction and develop through the evening tonight and through the day tomorrow. For that chance of precipitation, we start our Friday off with rain, Friday night and more rain, but we're dry for the weekend. A slight chance of showers Monday night into Tuesday morning, but staying mostly dry until the end of next week. So we're going to be seeing those showers tomorrow, but we do get some relief this weekend. For the future radar, dry for the overnight hours, but very early Friday morning, that rain begins to enter the area. That's going to move through by 8 a.m. We'll see things clearing out and we're dry for the afternoon tomorrow. Too much sunshine though tomorrow afternoon will create more instability in the atmosphere and that could lead to some potentially strong to severe weather. So this line that's gonna move through is our main concern. That's gonna bring some very gusty winds, also some potentially severe thunderstorms Friday night. Our main concern is that wind. Things begin to calm down by the evening on Friday and those winds out there are going to be howling all day tomorrow. We start off 8.30 already those gusty winds, 36 mile per hour wind gusts at 8.30 tomorrow morning in Oak Hill, 40 in Beckley. That only increases into the afternoon. We could be seeing over 40 mile per hour wind gusts by lunchtime and then into the evening Friday. We could be seeing 50 mile per hour wind gusts across the entire western half of our viewing area. So if you have anything outside that could blow away, make sure you take care of that or you may not see it anymore. As we go into the evening Friday, more gusty winds as we see that system pushing out. Then by Saturday morning, those gusty winds move over to those eastern counties and those higher ridges and we'll see things finally calming down by the day on Saturday. This is why we have that wind advisory in effect until Saturday afternoon because of those potentially 50 mile per hour wind gusts out there. We also have that level two severe weather threat for most of our viewing area, the northeastern edge in that level one threat. As then with the flood threat, we could see heavy downpours. That leads to a level one flood threat. So lots of things to remember for the day on Friday, lots of things to keep in the back of your mind as we end our week. For the next seven days, tomorrow, windy conditions with scattered showers and even some st uh, storms. As we go into the weekend, we're cooler. Temperatures down in the 40s for your Saturday. We start the week off mostly dry, a slight chance of showers Tuesday morning, but we're staying mostly dry, a little cooler as we go into the middle of next week. We'll have more news and sports after the break.